What is going on guys today? We are looking at Footies Walker. So he's 93 rated. Obviously he is the most recent Footies to come out into an SBC. Um, obviously outbeating Manolos and uh, Savage. Which to be honest there was quite a few decent choices. I think um, personally I did want Manolos. But looking at it now. Seeing as I'm looking to get the team of the season. Uh, Virgil van Dijk. He's probably the perfect option for me. Obviously he does put Lala in the right back position as a sub. Um, so that is something we're getting a lot of right backs. We've got. Dumfries, Da Costa, uh, Lala, Cancelo, Danny Alves is still up there, I think, to be honest, in his 90. Um, you've got quite a few, to be honest. You've got a really good selection of right backs, and I think it's just preference. I think Walker definitely is one of the meta defenders, personally, six foot, um, decent stats all round. And to be honest, for a 93 rated right back, that is pretty much end game material. 240k for him is actually really good value if you was to say put that in the middle of uh, november december whatever you that would you'd buy the handoff for that i personally would absolutely snap that up and even now to be honest even at july i think that's still a very good price to have him he's got some very fantastic stats skill move wise he isn't quite there but i think that all depends on how you use or how you utilize your left and right backs i think personally for me I just want the bulk standard. I'm not too fussed about what skill moves they do. Um, I'm not really doing many skills with my left and right back. So for me, I'm quite happy with that. Weak foot wise, yes, you could definitely get better. I think that is one thing that I would like to increase. But obviously, there's no increase on that. Six foot is fantastic. High, high attacking work rate uh, and defensive is good but obviously you can change that if you want to stay back whilst attack carry on as normal what have you you just need to make sure that you're aware of that um what's it that uh work rate when using your custom tactics if you're just going to let him free roam just remember that he will be up and down quite a lot so if you don't want to get caught out which with his pace of 98 uh 99 sprint speed and 93 acceleration it shouldn't be too much of an issue to be honest looking at the rest of his stats We've got 98 pace, 93 defending and physical, 87 dribbling and 86 passing. Just a few highlights. The 96 jumping is amazing. 99 stamina, 93 interceptions. Um, also, he does have 81 balance and 75 agility. I personally would look at utilizing that a little bit more. The agility factor would be quite nice to have that bit more just so he doesn't feel as clunky when moving around. I think that definitely is a chem style worthy uh, point to go for. And I think obviously with the pace being fine, I think you'd be looking at something like Guardian to put on this card. You'd get 98 defending, which would see all of the defensive stats bar from head and accuracy hit 99. You'd also get 85 agility, 98 ball control, 94 dribbling and 89 composure. Also, he does have 96 uh, shot power as well, just as a little bit extra, um, just to add on to this card. I think that's just something worth mentioning. In case he does get himself into the box, I think that's something that you'd uh, definitely consider just taking a pop shot with him. For the SBC, it's 286 rated squads. Uh, one of them requires an inform and a Premier League player, and the other one requires one English player. You'd get a 50 and 30k pack back from them, which gives you the total of, what, 80k worth of packs back from a 240k SBC, with all the special cards as well in the... the um, the game at the minute with footies happening with the best of pack batch two. I think that is incredible value. I really, really do. I think up and down the pitch is fantastic. Tackling pace, just awareness as a defender is really, really good. So getting into the overall, as you can see here, the pros and cons, pace, crossing, tackling, all absolutely fantastic elements of this card. Agility is the con as the as the base stat, uh, but obviously if you put that uh, that guardian, I think it was on him, it does uh, kind of it, it takes it away a little bit. It doesn't make it 99, but it makes it good enough for me to say that it, that removes as a con. But obviously, just as the base stat, that is obviously a little bit to look out for. 240k, like I said, with the price tag. 
Foot champs, definitely first team. He, he he could be a super sub, and I think he could utilise a few positions. But I would definitely say first team as a right back, 100%. I've put him down for a value of for coins as 9 out of 10. Uh, I think 10 out of 10 would be anything under 200k. But obviously, a lot of a lot of you can get this for free, or at least for very little value with what you've got in your club. Plus, grinding out them SBCs, them upgrades, the 8186s. I think it's definitely possible to do that. And overall, I'm going for a 10 out of 10 I think he was absolutely fantastic and will be a huge addition to the team when Virgil definitely comes back in uh, well comes into my team for the first time as a team of the season version and Lala will have uh, have to take a little bench uh, but in general really really happy with this card and would recommend him 100% so hopefully you enjoyed this video we're going to be bringing play reviews, uh, play reviews back as obviously they've been kind of on the backslide a little bit but I'm going to be back and doing them Ebra will be next if nothing comes out, well, yeah, no, Ebra will be next because then Monday we'll have a look and see if anything else is out. Uh, but I'll still do the SBCs, still do the upgrades and the news and stuff like that, trying to go down the different route. And Road to FIFA 20 will be coming very, very shortly as well. So stay tuned for that. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, make sure you smash that subscribe button and hit the bell button as well. That is always fantastic. And I'll see you all for the next one. Peace.